Welcome to class. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is Fancy Nancy. Had to look to see what I was doing this morning. Fancy Nancy by Adele Bruno. And Fancy Nancy is a fun one to do for Valentine's. And I'm going to show you some variations that you can do. Adele shows variations on her step out, but I'm going to show you some different variations that you can do and things I've done to just, for me, to liven it up a little bit. It's a great tangle. Lots of fun things you can do with Fancy Nancy. So let's get started. Well, here we go. I'm going to show you a heart I worked on in class on Tuesday, and this is Fancy Nancy. And I did it again here and again here. I've colored it. I don't normally color my Zentangle. I kind of like them in the black and white, but today, you know, I just, actually I've been sick with pneumonia, and um, I was just sitting on my couch, and I thought, oh, I'm going to color that, and it's a little color pencil, and it just turned out kind of fun. I'll probably frame it up and maybe give it away as a valentine, but that is Fancy Nancy. Now, this is what we were working on in class. This is just some of the tangles. I believe with all your hearts, a template you can get on my on my store at inkadoodles.com. Well, I'm going to put Fancy Nancy into this little uh, tangle here so you can see what it's like. I could draw it, um, and maybe I should just draw it on a, a paper first so you can really get a good look at it. And I'm, I've just got a, a long scrap of paper um, that I'm going to do it on so you can see it done as a border. And it's a fun one. So we're going to start out with I, an oval. And this one's probably the size of a large grape. And then another oval on the inside of that that touches the bottom so that it, it's resting at the bottom of that oval. And then we're going to put, I put a little figure eight leaf, and another figure eight leaf, and then another one. So I have three little leaves that dangle down. And Adele Bruno, she talked about doing the figure eight, which is really a fun way to do that. When I do, I'm going to draw another one. So we're going to draw another one just connected below it. And you can see my oval kind of got a different shape. It's kind of teardrop. Sometimes that happens. And then we're going to put another oval in here. And I'm just going to, when I do my petals, I do that figure eight so that it goes up the underside and along those so they kind of nestle in. I just like how it nestles underneath. And Adele says you can just keep going, adding, as a string of fancy Nancy's. So you can see how you can just chain it along to make a great border tangle. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just... bordering that. And I could just keep going. But I'm going to come back up here and show you that Adele also did little lines in this. And I think that really helps in those little petals to define those little leaves. But we've been talking about embellishment and what you can do to embellish a tangle to change it. Well, something to embellish this tangle to make it have more depth is to bring a line up the inside and then color this in. All of a sudden, you have depth within your tangle. Can you see the depth up here? So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do opposite side just because it... It's kind of fun when you do chain, you can go back and forth opposites. And there I have depth within that little tangle. The hole has depth, and it just takes it out of that flat mode 
and give it some depth. And I left a little um, sparkle in there, a little lot of shine to make it also have depth. Now we, in class, we also talked about how you can give, you could cross hatch on the inside of here. This is where you can use your, you know, just your imagination and what can I do to add something to this tangle. You could also cross hatch. What I mean by cross hatching is just little lines. And I try to have very fine, so don't push hard with that pen or use a very fine tip pen. I'm using an 01 by Secura, which I like. Uh, it's a fine tip. That's another way that you can add depth to that tangle. Okay, another thing you can do to Fancy Nancy is if you don't want to have it in a chain, you can make your oval and another oval, two of them together. And I made my other oval on opposite sides. And we're going to draw our little figure eight petals. And I will turn mine around to draw this side because I get better control. There's my little figure eight petals. I can come back in. And put my little steam in, in there. I would call that just, just to give it a little life. We want to remember to give it our depth. And you can do. more little little things right out there. And the thing you can do to this one is to echo it. And this would make a great little accent on a note card. I just put note cards on my um, web page so that you can um, Get a template for a note card, and you can see those on my on my um, blog. I will post pictures of them. But there's another way to do Fancy Nancy. So I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to take my little heart template. I haven't finished the um, this one. We were just talking in class about how you can embellish and and go up with that. So I'm just going to put. A couple of fancy Nancy's, I think, right in here. So I'm just going to start by doing my oval. And there we have one. I can even just turn it a little. And then we have three little fancy Nancys in there. We'll come back and color in. You can see how I went. Left, right, left, right. I'm going to add my little lines. That just adds a little more detail to. Now I'm going to go ahead and add more fancy Nancy's in this space. I'm just going to make it fit in this space. And even 
do. One that's a little holly bod underneath. So that I have, and I've just nestled those into my little heart. I'm just going to color that all the way down. And I could take my. This one, and come up, and entwine it underneath. I very seldom follow the lines, but you can see how you can just add that fancy Nancy right in. This is done on gray paper, so when I get ready to shade, I will add accents of gray and white. I could probably add a little pink in here for this, or red, um, but this will be a fun one. And you can get the templates for this on my website if you want. Believe with all your heart. Make a great Valentine for someone very simple. Thanks for watching today. Hope you have a great day. Tangle every day. Your tangles will get better if you tangle every single day. Take time for yourself. Drawing is very therapeutic. Share this video. Leave comments. I have a great group of people who follow me. Thanks, and thanks for all the nice comments since I've been sick. I'm feeling much better. And have a great day.